Hey guys, it's me. Um, it's Thursday because apparently things don't actually want me to upload films on Wednesday. But hey, I'm cool with Thor's day too, if not cooler with it. Um, yeah, usually my gaze drifts this way because Zero's here. Today my gaze is just gonna like flick everywhere except straight ahead because I have Pearl on Skype with me over here on mute. Uh, and I have Zero on this side and Pearl is deciding to act like a rabid monkey. I hate monkeys. I got into watching Young Justice. Oh my god, you guys, it's so good. You guys, it's amazing. Anyways, okay, I'm gonna try and keep this brief, which, uh, as you can tell, is already going great. Um, this week we're spo we're starting a series where we're going to talk about one of our group members, and this week we are doing Peggy, who was supposed to introduce the concept of this whole thing, but she decided not to upload a video. Um, I'm currently in a race with her to see who can upload a video fastest tonight, so we'll see. Anyways, um, Pearl came up with this idea, and we're basically, so I'm just going off of what she's given me, because I suck at remembering stuff about myself, let alone other people. So, this should be interesting. Okay, um, I'm supposed to say how I, and this is all about Peggy. So from this point on, it's Peggy, until I say it's not. So this is all Peggy. It's all for you, Pegs. Peg leg, Peggy pegs of Peg, Peggy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just wanted to, okay, anyway. Okay, okay. So, um, how I met her. I don't actually remember meeting Peggy. She remembers meeting me earlier than I remember meeting her. Apparently we were introduced by a mutual friend and I don't remember this at all. Um, so as far as first impressions go, which is another thing I'm supposed to hit on, apparently she didn't make much of one on me because I do not remember her at all um this was in this was in middle school and the last day of middle school the last day of eighth grade was this big like eighth grade graduation like you're going into high school like party in the gym and there was like games and stuff and whatnot and i remember meeting her there and actually like liking her like we we hit it off and for me at that time it was pretty unheard of because i think at that time in my life i had one friend <laughs> Woo! so um it was just it was really kind of odd for me to actually strike it off and hit it off that well with somebody and but we did and i remember being really sad because there was this awesome, amazing person I had just met, and we seemed to have a lot in common, and it was the last day of eighth grade, and we would be going to high school. And like I said, I, I only had really one friend at the time, and like because of my own history and stuff, I've been very like disillusioned as to the kindness of other people and stuff so I left that day fully expecting her to completely forget about me and to never see or hear from her ever again um needless to say that actually didn't happen <laughs> surprisingly enough um it was surprising for me at least we met up again in high school I'm not sure how I might have been during lunch, but chances are she was the one who came up to me and was like, hey, aren't you that person? And I was like, oh, you remember me? Yeah, 
Um, in all likelihood, that's probably something around what happened. So, first impression, she didn't really make one. Second impression, there's this awesome, amazing person who I'm never going to see again, so just screw my life, because that was pretty much my life at that point. And um, third impression, a good one, because she actually remembered me and spoke to me, which was unheard of for me for somebody to actually come up to me and actually want to waste time with me <laughs> this is really depressing <laughs> it's like Bria my second friend <laughs> I had friends in no not really um well yeah um Anyways, so I'm supposed to describe her personality. Um, I hate describing people's personalities. I really do. I mean, like, I could go on and on. She has so many, like everyone. I mean, like everyone. She has so many bad qualities. And at the same time, all I can say is the good ones far outweigh them. Otherwise, I wouldn't waste time hanging out with her. Sorry, Peggy. <laughs> kind of a pessimistic but realistic view that I have. Um, but hey, the good ones far outweigh the negative, so... I mean, she's, she's nice and she listens and she actually... If she doesn't, she is at least very good at pretending that she gives a damn. But I'm pretty sure she does. I'm pretty- I'm- I'm hoping I know her well enough that I can say that she actually gives a damn. <laughs> Anyways, um... No, just... Peggy is... super nice. And she's... Just, she listens. I'm just saying the same thing over and over again, aren't I? <laughs> God damn it. Um, just, and like, the, the flaws that I mentioned, the flaws are basically, she's too nice for her own good. Like, what the hell? Or like, she, like, she is really accommodating. And sometimes that goes a bit too far, <laughs> you know? She's accommodating when she shouldn't be. Like, that type of bad quality. Um, which is, like, a good quality, but, like, stretched to the point sometimes where it's like, Peggy, why are you doing this? Come on now, come on. But... I, I just, I, I, I am total crap at actually explaining people's personalities, and I'm, this is on 8 minutes and 30 seconds now, but I mean, if she wasn't a good person, then I wouldn't be friends with her, so you're just gonna have to take my word, and hopefully one of the others will be able to better describe her personality, because I'm not doing her justice. Okay, I'm supposed to see a favorite memory with her, um, as the last thing that was on the list to cover. Oh my god. Um, a favorite memory. Crap. You know, I'm really, I have a really bad memory in general. Um, for like occurrences. I can, I remember the strangest things and like the stuff that I probably should actually remember and hold on to. Woo! Um, I would say one thing that sticks out and I think it was, it must have been over the summer. And I, I, I suppose we were probably driving around and hanging out all day um, prior, but I don't remember that. Um, I mean, we, we, we drive around. She drove us around so much. 
Dear Lord, Peggy, you are a freaking saint, and we owe you probably thousands of dollars in gas money. <laughs> I'm sorry. I am sorry. If I ever become famous or hit the lottery, I'm just gonna... You will never have to buy gas ever again. I will supply you gas money for the rest of your life if I ever win the lottery or become famous. Just... Just, dear Lord. Anyways, okay, so... I mean, I guess we must have been driving around all day before, but I don't remember it. All I remember is she, Peggy Peggy burned these CDs, and one or two of them have an assortment of Disney songs, you know, like songs you can, like, sing along to, everybody knows, along with, like, a couple of other, like, theme songs and stuff that everybody knows, and... I remember we went to the shopping center by our houses and we were parked in the parking lot and we had all the doors of the minivan open. We went to we went to McDonald's because I really wanted soft serve ice cream and they didn't have it because the McDonald's by our houses never freaking has soft serve ice cream when you want it the most. So we went to Giant, and they got, like, these little, like, the little, like, disposable, like, tub, like, the little, like, small snack tub things of ice cream, and we, and just, like, we got, like, snacks and things, and just, like, just from all these different, like, just small things from these different places, like McDonald's, I think somebody got something from Starbucks, that might have been me, I don't even know. I think mainly we got stuff from Giant, though, and we just, we sat in the parking lot and made total and utter fools of ourselves and probably it's probably amazing that the cops were not called on us for like disturbing the peace or something and we just sat there blaring and like belting out these Disney songs and it was amazing and it was so much fun and I just I remember I don't know I can't say that. That's really corny. I'm not gonna say that. I'm not gonna say that. That's really- should I say it? Okay. Uh, stop nodding, god damn it! I already have to deal with Annie telling me to say it. Okay, so, like, I remember, like, other people were there. I think Pearl was there. I'm not sure. But, like, I remember sitting, and I, like, I just- stop it! I'm trying to build up the courage to say this. So, I remember uh, Pearl was there, and Apparition might have been there, but, like, I remember Bria was there, and I always sit shotgun, and she's on the driver's seat, but, like, people were climbing all over the minivan, and just, we were having, we were tossing a ball back and forth that we found in the car, and just, it was just really happy, and... I guess, I mean, it's technically not a memory with just Bria. I just said her name. Fuck it. Anyways, I suppose it's not a memory with just her, but, I mean, probably, like, I remember talking with her, and I don't know what we spoke about, but I just remember, like, smiling and talking with her and her smiling. And that's my cheesy ending. Oh my god, I'm gonna die of embarrassment now. So, I love you, Peggy, and I'm sorry for saying your real name, but in the intro to Faze video that we made before all of this happened, we said our name, so goodbye. I love you. Bye.